Amanda here from the social studio. How are you doing today? This is Fergie. Hello Fergie. You can say hello. And it's the end of March and I thought I would do a little bit of a roundup of things that I've been making throughout March. Now some have snuck in just the very last couple of days of February and I've got a couple of items that are not quite there but will be. So um, hopefully you'll um, you know, show me a little bit of lenience somewhere. Shall we pop you down? Yeah? Okay then, not a problem. So let's pop Fergie down. So when I actually sort of like made out the list of what I'd actually made through March, I was actually quite surprised. I've actually done three pair of trousers, five tops, a dress, a pair of pyjamas and a blouse. Um, more or less made some the, the pyjamas. I've done cushions and started two quilts. So a little bit over the top but I'm not going to bore you with everything. So the items that sort of snuck in um, just on the back of February is what I'm wearing now. So if I just stand up and show you. So I've got the Hadley top on in a Lady McElroy crepe. Um, and then I've also, you probably won't be able to see, they're on uh, the Instagram um, and I'll try and put some pictures into this as well, is the free range slacks from So House 7. And uh, yeah, I absolutely adore them. I'd made the Hadley um, back in February in another fabric um, and I really loved it. And it was a viscose and it was a little bit big, bigger than I'd sort of anticipated. Um, but it was fine, it's still really wearable, so I'd actually then took down. So if you're not aware of the grain line, Hadley, so it's a brilliant pattern. You've got a long sleeved round neck version and it's got a pleat at the back, sort of takes in, so it's really lovely and roomy, um, but it's fitted through the top and it's got a little high low rise hem. And also then for the warmer sort of summer months, you've got the V-neck sleeveless version. So that will definitely be made. So it is made for sort of like a confident beginner. So it's a fairly quick, easy make. Okay. Um, Grain 9, they're an American company. And so the sizing I feel tends to come up just a little bit bigger on the UK sizes, but we're not going to argue with that one. So I generally tend to do a 12 in grain line. I think because in February I was carrying a little bit more weight than I anticipated that I'd like to be, that I did, went for a 14. Um, but it was a little bit big on the shoulders. Um, but I didn't want to have it too tight either. So with this one, I reduced it to a 12, but I just kept the arm scale um, as a 14, but took everything else down to a 12. Um, no full bust adjustments, no lengthening on the arms. So it is one that you can do right out to the, the packet. So if you fancy that one, have a little go at it. It's got lovely top stitch detailing that you can do go with. I top stitch the facing down. I generally do like to top stitch a facing down just because I don't want it sort of poking out. But you do need to be aware because of the pleat, you've got to stop the, the top stitching just before the, the pleat folds in. So my other make, which as I say, I've worn loads and loads, is this free house, um, yeah, the, fr the free range slack, sorry, from So House 7. So when I first was like sort of like looking at um, buying in different patterns with this company, they bought this out and I was like, no, it's, it's an elasticated pair of trousers. Yet somebody had said, no, no, they're not just, and they have got this lovely section down the side that just gives them that little bit more interest. They've got lovely patch pockets on the front. So again, in plain fabrics, you've got the top stitch detailing and you've got pockets at the back. And they're not that sort of elasticated back um, trouser that give you sort of a bit of a, a baggy backside. Um, so yeah, and I literally did them straight out of the packet. I did them virtually overnight in one session, sort of like about a three hour session. Um, and they're really, really comfy. I did the version um, one with tapered leg trouser, okay. Um, and I've done them in a Serona linen. So a Serona linen has got like, it's a natural plant-based 
fabric and it's got a little bit of stretch within the Serona. Um, done them in the minty green and we've got lots of different colours within um, th that range. So yeah, they're a really good super make and I've actually got, which might be on my makes for April, um, I've washed and prepped the fabric for some stripe linen ones but I'm going to do the stripes going in the opposite direction for a little bit of a feature down that side panel. Um, so they are sort of saying, <laughs> I'm not sort of saying, yeah, for a confident beginner again. So again, so if you've got, you know, the, the instructions are really, really good with these. So if you've got a couple of practice garments under your belt, then I would go with them. They really don't take, they're a good introduction for trousers. They don't take any fitting whatsoever. So give them a go. I really do recommend those. So the next sort of t-shirts up, we ran a online workshop for the Melissa Breton t-shirt. Again, I've made this up quite a few times um, and I did this in a lovely jersey, striped jersey, which... Okay, so I did it in a teal jersey. So again, if I can get a picture, I'll pop that one in. But it's just a lovely drop shouldered round neck sort of like boat neck um t-shirt great for just popping on dog walking just for like, those casual so it's a really quick easy make um i do find that the sleeves can be a little bit snug so generally and on the course i got the ladies to actually go up a size in that area unless you've got a super stretchy jersey um, like a viscose or something like that but this is a cotton normal jersey 95% cotton 5% elastane it's got plenty of stretch in it but yeah I do find it's just a little bit snugger um, through that arm so just be aware to actually just ease up a little bit if you need to seam allowances are one centimetre um, so Claire Louise goes up on sizes from A to H. She doesn't actually hang a size as such on it, but the bus range size is from a 32 up to a 46. Um, I did lengthen the actual body length by two inches, only because I am like five foot nine, five foot ten. So I do generally find that I need to lengthen most things. I then made, which I've not got with me, so I'll again I'll slip a, a picture in. Is a sewaholic Renfrew. She is great. I've done the V-neck section, but this time I did the scoop neck, and it's a lovely sort of really nice scoop. It doesn't sort of show too much off. Um, it's got a beautiful neck band. It goes in great cuffs, and it's a good length as well. It, this one I didn't have to lengthen and it's got a band through the bottom. I did it in a stripe, so again I played around with the stripes and put all the cuffing and neck bands in the opposite direction just to give a little bit more sort of uh, differentiation to it. So it's a Canadian company, so if you've not used so Sewaholic so before, they it was bought out and they're not producing new patterns but by Joe, they've got some really good staple ones. They tend to make for a pear-shaped lady. Um, so in the hip area, it tends to be more generous. And again, I think on this one, I went for a straight 14, no alterations whatsoever. So it's a really good versatile pattern, if you fancy that one. So next up that I made was my ultimate favorite favorite okay so i am going to do a quick little change i'll be back in two ticks to show you what i made and i have worn them so much so, so these are my jenny overalls and i absolutely adore them so they are such a great make so the jenny overalls are from closet core patterns so you can do them three quarter length, full length. You can do them just as trousers. You can do them with the bib and brace. I'd made them back in January, February in a baby pink cord and really liked them. 
but then just fancied some denim ones um, and just sort of perfected some of the fit a little bit. So with these, I did a size, I think I did a size 12 um, and I ended up doing a flat bottom alteration. So that is just pinching it out so it came through under the bottom a little bit. And then on this pair, I actually tapered some of the flare out, just literally sort of half an inch from the front and half an inch from the back, which seemed to work really nicely. Love the pocket on the front with the chevrons, um, with this striped denim. I think we still do have some of this denim left in um, on the website. I went for the bib and brace finish as well. Um, but the one thing that I did change was that you can put side pockets in, but I wanted to keep it as flat as possible. I just sort of thought with that COVID tummy that it may have just splayed out a little bit. They've got the side zip, lapped zip through, but it's such a good pattern. If you are a little bit bigger hip to waist ratio, they actually take you through that you can actually have two zip openings if you need to so you've got a little bit more and so the waist area is going to tuck in that little bit um what else can i say about the jennies they're just such good fun you can do them as shorts or a little mini sort of play set as well so whether i go for that in the summer i'm not too sure but yeah i absolutely and i've worn them so much i was a little bit like can I be wearing, you know, can I be wearing dungarees, you know, sort of mid fifties, but hey, who is there to tell you that you can't? Um, and when I have, I think people have been genuine and they're like, they are so cute, they're really good. And I see other people, um, similar age wearing them. So yeah, let's go with it. So to go with it, to pick out the little red stripe, I originally did wear it with just a plain white t-shirt, but I thought, well, yeah, I want to pick the red out. So my third, fourth, my fourth top of the month was I made the Tilly and the Buttons Philly. Okay, so I made this lovely pattern. It's gone really, really sort of quite viral. People have been making the, the jumper dress um, and the tops. So you've got two different versions. You've got the bands, you've got the beautiful balloon sleeve or the setting sleeve. So I did a little bit of a hack with Billy. So I wanted this one with just the setting sleeve tops, but I wanted a balloon base cuff, but I didn't do it as ballooned as the um, the pattern, mainly because the way that I'd folded my um, fabric, and I was being rather lazy, that I'd folded my salvage, salvage front, back, and then I was getting my sleeves out, and I hadn't got, if I'd have actually then unpinned it, um, I'd have got more out of it. Um, but I actually then just did the sleeve head of the setting sleeve, then I got the bottom of the, um, the balloon one, and I just tapered out as far as I could go to the salvage that I could get on. A little bit lazy, but I think it worked really well. So as I say, I didn't want them too baggy. I've done it in the cherry red in the modal sweat. So although it says it's a sweat, it's actually a t-shirt fabric. It's a little bit like a loop back um, French Terry t-shirt uh, material and it's just really really soft and it's designed to keep me warm in the winter and cool in the summer um, so yeah it really is my most favourite outfit a um, little bit Super Mario-ish -ish, but yeah just love it okay then moving on hopefully you're still with me so mid-March um, I then we had new into the studio we had the Nord t-shirt from Liesl & Co. OMG, I cannot recommend this pattern enough. It is amazing. As you see, there's all these different variations. It's a great way of using up some of your leftover jerseys. Um, so you've got a band of colour that you can use through the front. You've got the under sleeve with another colour if you want to. You've got insets down the side. You can mix and match it as much as you want to. I did it again in some mode of sweat. Again, I'll pop a picture in um, if I can link it, if my technical, my technical abilities allow me to. 
um, and I did it in sort of the Bordeaux and a dusky pink and another shade of pink. The fit is just superb. So as you can see, it comes with cup sizes. So it does an A, B, a C or a D. So you haven't got to mess around with full bust adjustments if you want, don't want to. So I went with the size large um, on a C cup and it was absolutely bob on really really gorgeous now the other beautiful thing about this um drafted pattern love the shaped sides and it's got a self-facing okay so you stitch on the self-facing that flips up then you can top stitch around and that extra little bit of weight just gives it a beautiful hang because it's not a, it's not a top that you're going to be tucking in at all it's one that you're going to wear i wear mine over leggings but I can definitely see some more being made with that one. So yeah, and I think it would work really quite nicely in a sweatshirt fabric as well, something like the cozy colours that's a little bit heavier, that's got some uh, fleecy back, but not too thick. So I think that could work really, really nicely. So if you get a chance, check it out. It's so, so good. So staying with Jersey, I think this time of year, we were all sort of um, in the current climate, we're definitely jersey based. We want comfort, we want stretch, we're stopping in an awful lot. Um, I know my waistline has expanded a little bit, so yeah, jersey works perfectly. So, but I wanted a dress. Okay, I got to the point where, you know, it's nice wearing joggers and leggings and things like that, but I just fancied wearing a dress um, every so often. So I love, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll know I love Stylock. We have quite a range of Stylock patterns in. Um, and Stylock obviously do do absolutely loads of patterns. They're so well drafted. The shapes are absolutely gorgeous. So I did this fun heady dress. So it's a bit of a cocoon dress. It's got a beautiful pleat over at the front. Um, it's so cleverly drafted. The back, you hopefully can see, it's got this beautiful shaping and then it drapes through the sides. Now you do need to do it. I did it in a cotton jersey. When I first put it on, I was like, not 100%. I think it really needed to be drapier, like a viscose jersey or a very, very soft knit indeed. But it did work, it has worked and I do like it. Um, so yeah, and it's got these beautiful inset pockets. Um, I did it in a stuff, it was a navy blue with um, <clears throat> a rust spot. Um, so yeah, again, you may get a picture, you may not. But yes, yeah, Starlock is fabulous. Now, the one thing with Starlock, they're very, very generous. Their wearing ease is phenomenal. So some of their garments, they'll put like 10 inches of wearing ease in. Fine if that's what you want. Personally, I don't like that much wearing ease. <clears throat> um, and when I was actually st uh, sewing this one up, one of my ladies on Zoom was actually making it as well and she found the same, that yeah, it was big and she could drop down. So I actually went down to a size 10 in this. Um, again, if you're unsure about sort of the sizing, I wrote a blog on the website and it gives you the starting point for every sizing. So then you can work out so, uh, how much wearing ease is going to be in. So they always give you what the finished garment measurement is for a size 10 and then they tell you to then work up in two inch increments. Fine, but you need to know where the starting base was. So again, on the blog, there is a chart with all the starting points of their sizing um, so yeah and so therefore you can then work out that it's like 10 inches 8 inches of wearing ease and if you want that but generally I tend to sort of drop down one to two sizes so we're working our way through March we did the Carolyn pajamas as a workshop on zoom I think mainly because I really wanted to make them and the only way that I was going to get around to making them was if I ran it as a course. Um, so, because they're one of those things you think, am I going to wear it? You know, yes, I want to make, wear them. Yes, I want to make them. But the things always come further forward in the sewing list. 
so yeah that's what we did we made posh pjs so we're about to finish we're at the end of march now we're about to finish next week so you know forgive me guys i'm nearly there the the, the bottoms are all in situ the top i've not finished off because i'm helping the ladies on the course so they will be finished by the um about the 5th of april so i've just snuck in i'm just sneaking that one in for my march make and they are superb such a lovely lovely make um definitely i'll be making more i've learned loads myself making these um the notch color is not as difficult as you think you just really need to take your time with it um they do closet core do a great um blog post as well on their website to help you with that one so yeah give them a go posh pjs Okay, not necessarily going to sleep in them. They are for soireeing around the house with a glass of fizz. Um, so yeah, so if you want something a little bit more classy in your loungewear, definitely go with those. So my final piece I'm going to sneak in for the end of March is two of the True Bias. The Lander Pants. Now again, I'm sneaking them in all I've got to do is get the waistband on and that will be done tonight because I want to get these out there and show them off on Fizz Friday. Today's Wednesday. So I've done them in a cotton canvas. Um, I'll slip them on and show you where that we are. Um, but yeah, I made the lander pants last year and I made three pairs. Just love them. Um, and I have a distinct lack of bottom half trousers in my wardrobe. Um, I get where people come from, you know, the, getting trousers to fit can be a little bit of daunt, but these are amazing, next to no fitting problems, and they do fit. Um, they are a close fitting pair around the hips and the bottom, again, flat bottom um, adjustment. They're great because they give you one inch seam allowances on the side, so you've got a lot of wiggle room through there. Um, I've adjusted my pattern, I'm probably going to have to, I was really naughty and I cut my pattern, I didn't trace it, so, so I'm going to need to have a new pattern because it's been through the middle a little bit and then Fergie got hold of the waistband pattern and chewed it so it is unusable, unrecognisable. Now with my last three I actually shaped the waistband, the waistband it, it in the pattern comes as one straight piece um, and I just find with it being slightly shaped for the side it just fits into my waist that little bit more snug um, so yeah they are such a good good make I do prefer so these are with a fly front fastening with buttons I did my first two pair with those I have to admit I prefer it with a zip so um, these are available for a download for the front fly extension with a zip. And yeah, I do prefer, I have to say, with a zip. It's just when you've got a protruding tummy, the buttons pull a little bit, what they do in my case. But with a zip, everything's encased nice and secure. So that's the only reason. I've done three quarter length. I've done the full length. Um, the ones that I've just made are three quarter because we're going into the spring. Um, and yeah we can start showing a little bit of ankle okay and then to go with it is the roscoe okay so the roscoe blouse i have been wanting to make this for so long and it was like right now or never it's such a beautiful make again i started on um, one evening i've got a regular class on a thursday night that we bring up with zoom i'm sewing along with them i'm helping them and before I knew it, it was coming together really beautifully. So I'm going to go and just pop them on for you. So like I say, the landers aren't, and then I can show you the fabrics and how they are going to marry up really well and how they're going to actually be able to match in with my wardrobe for other outfits. So yeah, my Roscoe blouse, which I'm really, really pleased with. It's got that little bit of a boho sort of, sort of, feel to it um, it's going to be fine tucked in or just on the side um, so yeah it's the Ida Pima Lawn um, 
it's got so many beautiful colours. It's this beautiful creamy background and it's got this like lavender blue, some mustards, the rust, the black. Really, really pretty. So I just thought that is going to go with so many things. Um, and I have made them in the rust cotton canvas. Let me get on my perch. So let's say the waistband's not on, but that's due to go on tonight. I've even lined the pockets with the same fabric. Um, and I shall do so the same with the inner of the waistband as well. So yeah, I think once the waistbands on, they should be fine. Um, yeah, there's nothing too bad. So on these, obviously, you know, a little bit of movement. The cotton will give um, as I sort of like wear them and it warms through. So the cotton canvas is this rusty colour and it really picks up the rust that's in the, um, the top fabric. So it's got a nice amount of drape, but it's still got structure. Um, got them in lots of different colours as well. So I am sort of thinking maybe a beetroot pair as well. So I've done them in the ankle crop length, because again, going into the spring and bare the ankles a little bit. So the ankles aren't too hairy so far, so don't have to worry too much about that. But yeah, I thought it's quite a nice casual sort of outfit um, I'm sort of thinking of doing the um, a skirt the feel skirt of the closet core patterns and I'm sort of thinking this would work quite nicely so I should pick out one of the colors so and make that sort of work but yeah with the little ties it's really good so it's nice and casual got a nice sort of spring sort of feel to it I think um, yeah so what did I do I made a 10 in this again I read some of the reviews um, it's quite a lot of wearing geese um, with this so it's because a 14 was for a 40 and a half inch bust um, but it's coming to come out at 52 so yeah it's 12 inches of wearing ease it's a raglan top so I had to originally sort of gone yeah I was gonna do a 12 um, but I'm quite I think the 10 works quite nicely. One note though is obviously with the 10, it's just made the sleeves slightly shorter, but again, not that much shorter to really worry about. Um, and the, the bands, they go on a treat. They really do. Everything went together so beautifully. Again, Kelly uh, drafts on a C cup, so there is more room hence um no need to sort of like go to your full size um so yeah that is a roundup of my march makes without my quilting um escapades and cushions so the cushion behind absolutely love made two of them they're going to go on my patio so yeah thanks for joining us guys um hope i've not bored you too much um my ramblings on hope you uh, picked a few bits of the um, patterns if you want to know any more just drop us a link drop us a message and yeah i'll hopefully see you very soon bye now